Hi everyone, nice to be back with you. Today I'm taking a look at another of the film adaptations from Charles author uh, Ronald Dahl, much loved. We've already reviewed film versions of Matilda and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, of course based on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I'll be putting cards up to those during this video if you haven't seen those. Um, but this video will also be with them in the Ronald Dahl playlist, um, which will also include in the description for you. So either way, if you've not seen those videos, you can uh, go and enjoy them. So, Daddy Champion of the World, it's a film, as I say, based on the original novel. Um, the story is Danny and his father live idyllic life in a gypsy caravan behind his dad's garage. Um, all their peaceful existence is about to change, however, when they bump into the unscrupulous Victor Hazel, who's um, a very, very nasty landowner and businessman who's been buying up all the local land. Um, he also likes game hunts and basically all the wealth and power he can muster. He wants to extend his land, uh, unfortunately for Danny and his dad, their land, their caravan, their garage, is right slap bang in the middle of where Victor Hazel wants to develop. And he offers to buy them out, they refuse, and so a battle of wits ensues as to uh, who will win the land and whether they'll Danny and his dad will get to protect their home. Um... Danny's dad one night slips out um, unbeknownst to Danny. Danny's trying to find him. He is a trained mechanic, Danny is. He's only a young lad, but he's a trained mechanic. So he drives their small car into the nearby woodland on Victor Hazel's land and he discovers that his dad is caught in a bear trap or a rabbit hole, seems to be. And his dad explains to him that he is actually... A poacher and he is trying to poach pheasants off Hazel's land. Danny um, concocts a scheme with his dad at various ways to get the um, pheasants poached without them being spotted. Um, the, one of the best ways they use is called the sticky hat uh, paper hat with glue that the pheasants just go and stick their head into and that way they're basically pretty docile and they can be poached off the land. There is another um, method as well, which I won't go into because it's far, it's far more funny. Um, it does involve sleeping pills, I'll, I'll give you that much, and a couple of other things. We also um, get to see Danny going to his local school um, with his kind gentle elderly headmaster and a rather nasty teacher called Captain Lancaster, a military sort who would rather discipline and beat children and basically frighten and scare them to death than uh, teach them anything. And it's soon after uh, Captain Lancaster actually canes Danny that um, he soon gets his comeuppance, but you'll get to see that for yourself. Um... It is a very funny film. Um, it is quite, it's an easy watch, definitely an easy family film for a Sunday afternoon or a rainy afternoon. Um, there are some sound issues. The sound is a little bit quiet, although it does say it's on a stereo track. Um, there are, you may need to turn the volume up slightly. Um, because some of the dialogue, I found some of the dialogue is a bit softly spoken. Um, that is partly due to no fault of how they portray the character, but Jeremy Irons, who plays Danny's dad, he's, um, Danny's dad is quite softly spoken. So you might have to turn the volume up there. His son, um, Danny, is actually played by his son. Samuel Irons, and you can definitely see the chemistry between the two of them. Victor Hazel is played by the absolutely brilliant Robbie Coltrane. And um, one of his henchmen, one of his groundkeepers, 
is played is played by Jimmy Nail. Uh, he only gets a cameo role, but he is nonetheless very good. Uh, there's also Michael Holden, who you, some of you will remember from being the narrator in the original Paddington Bear television series back in the day. Um, incidentally, that will be reviewed further down the line. But he is actually one of the guests invited onto Victor Hazel's land for the big shoot. Um, which doesn't go according to plan, but that's partly down to Danny and his dad. Um, so it is a very warm film. Very enjoyable. The other issue I will say with it is, for me personally... In the uh, original book version, um, Danny himself actually narrates his story. You get to learn more about Dr. Spencer. You get to know more about their local policeman and all the characters in general. Um, Danny narrates the story from his point of view. And there's a lot more personal development between him and his dad. There's a lot more humour. And there's a lot more explanation of the poaching, about poaching and about the methods they use. And it's just a lot more comedy included. Now, of course, I appreciate that uh, when you've got only a 90 or 95 minute movie, you can only do so much. But I think either to have Samuel as Danny or Jeremy as his father narrate the story would have giving it even more warmth and more depth. But certainly very enjoyable. Um, Not for me, not as good as Matilda or as the movie of Willy Wonka, but that's just me personally. Nevertheless, still a very good family film indeed, and I would certainly recommend it.